What's up, fellas? Okay. What's up, fellas? Okay. So I'm back in Portland after Thanksgiving break, and I'm actually in a brand new apartment. <laughs> You guys may be like, whoa, Emma moved again. Yes, I did, okay? This is hopefully the last time I move in years, um, and I think it will be. I moved into my own place. My other apartment, um, I was living with a roommate. She was really cool, but the apartment was so incredibly small. My room was literally probably 60 square feet, so <laughs> the most, not the most ideal. People thought I was filming my bathroom. I wasn't filming my bathroom. That was my room. It looked like I was filming my bathroom because the room was so small, but now we are in my own brand new, really nice and spacious apartment. I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to do a whole apartment tour, but that's not the point of this video. First of all, okay, big announcement. New merch is out. New merch is out. We've got a couple different options going on there. Uh, link will be in the description. Also, today is an exciting day. Today is going to be the first time I get on the track in literally months. I'm gonna go do some 200s at the local track here in Portland. Ever since starting to train for my marathon, the speed has really just gone out of my body. I just feel really slow and I, I don't really like feeling slow. So I'm gonna go try to pick up the legs a little bit, just get some turnover going, because I kinda wanna implement that speed training back into my routine. Granted, I am still not in great shape, but I know for me, especially like in college, doing these kind of workouts would kind of help jumpstart my fitness. So, so yeah, we'll talk more about that when we get there, but I'm gonna go get ready to go right now. So let's get ready to rock and roll, eat. Okay, so I'm getting dressed and ready to go. And this video is actually sponsored by Tabio Socks. They sent me some of their socks to try. I'm really excited to try them out in my first track workout in months. So this has been all over the place. I also took this to San Diego, but they packaged it really nicely. I've never had anything packaged like that. And their socks are very unique. We've got two different kinds of run socks here. Obviously I got them in the pink color because pink's one of my favorite colors. We've just got the regular classic sock. Crafted by the hands of artisans and blended with the finest yarns to create peerless comfort. Made in Japan. I like how it's ribbed on the bottom so that your feet won't slip in my flats today. So I don't know if I'm gonna wear these or they also sent me these toe socks, which I'm super excited to try out. Okay, fun fact. So I, in college, I would always, always, always lose my toenails. You guys may already know this about me. Okay, that's kind of disgusting, but <laughs> everyone would always make fun of me for it. They would say, your shoes are too big, but they're not. My shoes are not too big. They're not too small, they're perfect. And I've never worn toe socks while running before, so maybe this will help it a little bit because I feel like it might have to do with my toes kind of smushing together, so maybe I'm gonna try these. I'm gonna try the toe socks. I've never... I've never run in toe socks, so these are very good quality. They're the same material as the regular ones, so let's give it a try. Again, they're ribbed on the bottom. They're even a little bit ribbed on their little toes. That's cute. And the little bag that came in came with all these washing tips and how to care for the socks, which is nice because I need tips desperately. I'm still losing some of my toenails from the marathon, which is quite gross, but you know, it's just what happens. This is what happens when you run Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so fun. I've only worn toe socks when it was like really cold. It actually is really cold outside right now in Portland. It's not raining, thank goodness. It's like, <laughs> it's like a little glove for my foot. Ooh, it's nice, it doesn't slip on the ground either. All right, my feet are ready to rock and roll. So let's go to the track. Okay, we're at the track. We're at Dunaway Track here in Portland. I'm like actually kind of nervous. There's a lot of people here, so everyone's gonna be watching me film myself. I've never been at this track before, actually. I'm just gonna go about four miles today. I'm gonna do mile warm up, eight, 200 strides, 200 easy, and then eight laps, 200 strides, 200 easy, and then a mile cool down. Crack vibes, sock vibes, toe sock vibes, tapio socks vibes. I'm just gonna wear my pegs to start. Yeah, she's just so muddy. So far, so good on the socks. A nice material. Oh my gosh, my toes feel so good. I'm also gonna wear a heart rate monitor just to see what my out of shape heart rate is. And maybe in a couple months we'll compare it to what it is now. Is this even focused? Oh well. Okay. 
Just finished warming up mile 8.30 pace. Wow, we're just cruising along. Now, I'm gonna lace up the angel wings. The socks feel great. I'm a big fan of the socks so far, very comfortable. I like the toe socks. No sliding around. <laughs> okay, so honestly, I'm a little nervous to do these. I'm really out of shape. And <laughs> my body's a lot different than it used to be. So it's gonna hurt really bad. I can just sense it. But we're gonna still do it because in the past I would have just given up and not done it because I was afraid of, I don't know, how I'd feel. But you gotta rip off the band aid somehow, you know? Like, you know, sometimes you go through second puberty after college and. It's just the way it is, and now you need to adapt to your new body. <laughs> it sounds so weird. Could anyone else relate? Uh, eight 200s. Not doing a pace on these, just gonna see actually what I can run because I have no idea what I can run. Also, I'm gonna be rocking the new merch. Is this narcissistic <laughs> to wear myself on a shirt? Whatever, you know what? That's how quality it is, okay? I'm willing to be, to look like a freak, wearing my own image on my shirt while I run, so. All right, maybe do some drills? That sounds good. Okay, those actually didn't feel too bad. I mean, I did about 30 seconds of them, but I also don't have anyone to um, film these, so I'm gonna get as best footage as I can. But here we go. Okay, so I've done five so far. I've actually hit 36s on all of them, which is kind of surprising. Um, but my form is starting to absolutely fall apart, which just shows you that I have no base at all for speed, or really anything. I really should have built up my mileage before I started doing this stuff. But I was really in the mood, and that's what I'm going with these days, is just whatever I'm in the mood for to help get me back in shape, so. <sighs> okay. Okay. How oh, that looks so good. I know, that was 37 though. That's really, you know, my form is just falling apart. This is the joy of getting back into shape. Isn't it fun? All right, I'm gonna jog back over there and start over there so they can see right when my form starts to fall apart. Isn't that great? Oh my gosh, guys, my heart rate is so high, and I now have a cramp. I've not, I haven't had a cramp in my years, so I don't know why I have a cramp. Probably because I ate a perfect bar before this. Was. Okay, I'm gonna. Can I stick you guys right here? Oh ho ho! Whoa! Okay, now you can see me do my last one. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, I'm doing it what everyone says not to do when you finish when you finish the workout, sitting on a bench. Oh my gosh, guys, that made, that workout kind of made me feel pathetic. Okay, we're gonna stay optimistic. Okay, I'm out here doing it. That's a plus. Um, I'm rocking the new merch. That's a plus. My toes feel amazing. These Tabio toe socks, and uh, I'm done. I hit. I definitely averaged 36 on those, which you know. Am I 100% satisfied? No. I'm definitely more out of shape than when I did that 300 workout last year, you guys remember? Which is kind of sad. But, I mean, what can you do? I can't do anything about it now, and now I just have to get back 
I feel like I've been saying I'm getting back into shape, but I've kind of really just put a, probably a quarter of my effort into it. But I have some big goals for 2020, so I need to get a jump start. I don't want to be like that person that's like, I'm going to start in the new year because I want to start now. Because if January 1 comes in, around, I'm going to be more out of shape if I don't start now, so I might as well just start now. So this is me documenting it. Um, it wasn't the most glamorous workout. Are my workouts ever really glamorous? I don't think you guys have seen any glamorous workouts on here yet. But in the future, you guys will. A 200s with 200. It ended up being a walk jog, not a jog. If I was gonna jog, I just probably would have run in one minute. Sock review is a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna actually wear these socks all the time. Um, they're super comfortable. Usually I'm wear if I'm wearing socks in a workout, I can feel them because they get like hot. They have really good ventilation and I like how my toes aren't rubbing up against each other because that's how I get blisters. So for a first track workout, not to even feel anything on my feet, that's amazing. So these Tabio toe socks, 10 out of 10 would recommend. These would be great stocking stuffers. These actually might be my new favorite socks. I think I'm gonna go have to cop some more pairs because I'm gonna wanna wear these every day. And the color's cute. I just really like the way they look. Big fan. Woo, the adrenaline is pumping. It feels good to be back on the track. Though I am extremely unfit and not fast. Knee lift gal. It's not existent yet, but it feels good. Heart rate is 170, oh, let's cool down. It's when you know you're fit. Okay, I'm literally taking photos of myself and I look like a complete millennial. Literally taking selfies of myself at the track, I need to leave. <laughs> okay, we are back home now. I literally have no furniture in my apartment, as you can see, except for all my clothes are strewn over there because I also don't have a closet because I'm living in a studio. This is such a weird angle, okay. It's a little recap on everything. Um, life is great right now. Life is really good. Obviously, I'm moving into a new place and this place is just so much better. I'm feeling really good about my decision to move. Okay. <laughs> Even though I hate moving, you wouldn't know because I've moved so many times. Everything's going really, really well. The only thing that's a little bit off is my running fitness. And that's what my main goal is gonna be for 2020 is to just you know get back into the swing of things because I finally have like a routine in my life but the one thing missing is that running fitness. So we're, we're chasing that right now. Even though today's workout didn't feel the best, I'm really glad that I went to go do it just because I need to rip off the band-aid somehow and doing 200 is definitely a good way to do that just to get back into the swing of things, like get my cadence back up. So usually you want your cadence to be around 180 and mine, it has never been really high, but maybe when I was like in my best shape, I was probably closer to 180, but 170 is usually my normal. But since like doing the marathon, I've been in the 160s, which I don't want. I don't want my cadence to be lower. So I think by doing 200s, that's really gonna help me. And I know I've been like saying I'm getting back into shape for such a long time, but this is something I don't really want to rush because I really don't want to burn myself out. I feel like I'm finally getting out of that burnout stage since leaving college. Um, the marathon definitely helped, but especially like track stuff, I'm finally just feeling like I want to get on the track again. Even some of the workouts I was doing for the marathon, I was just like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm doing this again. But then now I feel like I'm just in a much better headspace and I actually like want to go down to the track and I'm not dreading it. So. Thank you guys for being patient with me um, in terms of my fitness. I mean, there's just been like a lot of changes in my life since leaving college and my body also. Like I said, going through second puberty, you know, it's not easy, but, <laughs> but here we are doing it. So good session today. I'm proud of myself and yeah, we're just getting back into it. So I've already said before, but still wearing the socks right now. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Great holiday gift if you're looking for something for a runner. Um, these Tabio socks are literally the best socks I've worn in a very, very long time. So this is something I pay a lot of attention to because feet are really important with running. We wanna take care of them. We wanna find a good pair of socks to work out in. So Tabio, thank you for sending me your socks and for sponsoring this video. And fellas, thank you guys for sticking with me for the past a long time. So I appreciate you all. Um, remember new merch is available, link is in the description, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out, fellas.